Oh, we have great news on the Ferreter Files updates, you guys. Timmy is not getting out of jail. No, 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 no. After hearing phone calls from his jail with a gentleman assisting him with his bankruptcy, they've caught little Timmy in a couple of lies, and the judge says, nah, not happening. <laughs> Judge Howard Coates denies Timothy Ferreter's motion to get out of jail pending appeal, blasting Ferreter, his witnesses, and his lawyer, writing, the court is left with a clear and concerning lack of confidence in the trustworthiness of the defendant and multiple witnesses and professionals in this matter. Recording. Prosecutors played jailhouse calls between Ferreter and his close friend and witness, Colin Zimmerink. And in them, you hear conversations which the judge describes at best amount of hiding assets and at worst, potential conspiracy to commit bankruptcy fraud. Listen to this. That I sell to him for a dollar. That's Ferreter describing a plan to sell his $40,000 truck to his brother-in-law for a dollar. Yeah, I just sell him for a dollar and the truck is officially theirs. And get out and sell it back to me for a dollar. So maybe that's an option to sell it uh, right now, or, or would that be, would be deemed prior to a bankruptcy? On those jailhouse calls, Ferreter lists a 401k, a life insurance policy with a cash out value of about 90000 a paid off truck and a bank account with 8000 all while planning to plead indigency. And Zimmerick advises him on it all. And then there's other things, right, to a certain limit. You might have jewelry, you might have some other stuff. But it would be odd if you were to transfer into jewelry some, some cash to any transfers recently made before the bankruptcy. They would, they would not count. And both men refer cryptically to money held by Zimmerick in, quote, your location. Judge Coates concluding, the court was left with a distinct impression that Mr. Zimmerink, contrary to his testimony, is indeed holding assets a defendant or otherwise assisting him in the concealment of such assets. Coates doesn't let Ferreter's attorneys off the hook either when it comes to that forged job offer letter Zimmerick's wife wrote to the judge to help him get released. Coates saying the faked Mazda letter in motion represent a shocking and flagrant disregard for the rule of law and an effort to effect a fraud upon the court that cannot be conveniently disavowed by either the defendant or his counsel. Coates also notes another Farrager witness offered to house any of the Farragers at his Australian home. As such, the court finds and concludes that there is substantial doubt the defendant will abide by any release conditions imposed. And with that, Farrager's motion for appellate release is denied. The judge has also granted the sheriff's office motion to move Farrager out of the Palm Beach County Jail and into a state prison while he appeals. And I did call Colin Zimmerink for comment and have not yet heard back. Terry Parker, WPPL 25 News. Well, you guys know who this is. This is Terry from the West Palm Beach news station, and she is awesome. She's done great on this case, but she's also the one that had that jaw drop when she watched some of the video of uh, the ring cameras. So Tracy's trial has been pushed back to July. The old attorney that was once on it is back on it again. Uh, the judge... I guess he went ahead and allowed it to, them to uh, push it back to July because he didn't want there to be an appeal. So they say. And they've also confirmed that she was the one who wrote the letters. The false letters about Tim's job. Yeah, the, the job offers that weren't really there. Let's listen for more. Tracy Ferreter stood by her new attorney, Mark Shiner, in court Tuesday. Shiner telling the judge that he is now back on her case as long as he doesn't have to go to trial this month as originally scheduled. After reviewing the discovery the last couple of weeks, uh, I think I can be ready in July. I know I can be ready in July. Judge Howard Coates says he thinks that's an excessive amount of time to get ready to defend Ferreter on charges. She locked her teenage son in a box-like room in their Jupiter garage. But he agreed because he doesn't want problems with an appeal. I think, sir. Coates concerned about this fake job offer letter sent to him by Ferreter's attorneys. Mazda Palm Beach said it was forged and Ferreter's attorneys quickly withdrew it and apologized, saying they had no idea it was fake and they never even talked to Ferreter about it. The judge saying he finds that hard to believe. Again, it just sounds almost fantastical, but I'll let you respond. 
Turns out the letter was written by the wife of Ferreter friend Colin Zimmerink. Zimmerink testified their housekeeper is married to a sales director at Mazda, and she informally got the job offer for Ferreter and his wife wrote it. And he's offering Ferreter a place to stay if he gets released. Plus, he'll pay Ferreter's bond. It's the right thing to do. I, I know Tim and Tracy. I know the children are at home. I know all great parents. Ferreter himself testified that he would never jump on, risking his friend's no, money, and that his five-year sentence isn't even that long. It's a short time, five years, and, and I, I think... There's, 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 there's no reason to not to do that. Uh, it's, it's the right thing you know, to do to make sure I fulfill what's required by me. And we all know that Tim always does the right Judge thing. Judge Coates praised the local media for reporting the forged job letter in the first place, saying without our reports, he may never have known fraud was being committed on the court. <laughs> that is amazing. So yet, <clears throat> Terry's done a great job on the on staying on top of what's going on with these two. I mean, this is like a little mini soap opera. This could be a lifetime movie with all the drama that they keep pulling out. So that's what I have for you guys today. Just wanted to give you this quick update so that you know what's going on. And um, I think I, I think we're probably on pause now. Now that Timmy's put away for five years at least. Too bad it's not more than that because we all know he deserved more than that. But uh, we'll just we'll just await what's going on with Tracy uh, with her July trial date. Thanks for watching. As always, appreciate you all, and have a good evening.